All right, all right. Good morning. Um, this is my first recorded kiln opening. Not my first kiln opening in general, but all right, let's get to it. So exciting. Um, so I've used B-Mix as a clay body. Um, I've also got brown speckled clay Laguna number 60 in here. And then I also have a black stoneware, which I love, um, Sio 2. And I fired this to a Cone 6 slow cool, which is important because when I wasn't doing the slow cool, I was getting um, pitting on a lot of the brown speckled. So with the slow cool, um, it reduces that completely, which is kind of amazing because I do a lot of layering. Anyway, let's get to it. This is on B-Mix. Um, I was just testing out texture. These have chickens. We have chickens. Um, sorry for any glare. But this is um, Amico Celadon Marigold and then smoke on the outside. simple. Okay. This, I'm excited. Look at that delicious drippy ooziness on the brown speckled clay body, which I will sand to make it nice and smooth. Gorgeous. So this is um, three coats inside of pearl white, spectrum pearl white. And then I carried that here to about here all the way around three times. Um, and then I applied just on the rim area, um, random like, not drips, but like little swipes of uh, Amico Blue Rutile. Laguna Power Turquoise um, and uh, Amico Seaweed. So I carried that like right here, little like brush strokes two times. And then I added like a lip of Spectrum Pearl White on top. You gotta be careful with that Spectrum Pearl White cause it runs like off the pot. Anyway. I love it. Okay. Um, these, I was just playing with transfers from Elon Transfers. This is on B-Mix. It's like a flannel pattern that I messily apply because <laughs> I'm very impatient. Mm -hmm. And then that's just textured turquoise, Amico. <laughs> eh, not crazy about it, but it's cute for uh, where we live in New Hampshire. Okay. This is super cute. <clears throat> this is again, Elon uh, transfer snowflakes, even though we're coming into spring, I'll save this for next winter. Now this is just a clear gloss on the bottom over the transfer. And then the rim is um, Celadon Aqua by Amico. And then on top of that, I just did the rim only three times of Spectrum Pearl White. I'm not, sorry, Spectrum Soft White to get that. I could have gone a little further down to get it to come, but that's fine. Sorry for the ring glare. It's my first video. I'll get better. Okay. Ooh, so check this out. This is on the black Sio 2 stoneware. This is um, Mako. 
Mako and what did I do here? I can't remember. I'll put it in the comments. Um, it's Norse Blue and Lavender Mist. Oh, sorry. And Winterwood. All three Mako glazes. kind of dripped a little. This drip fell onto the shelf, so there's a little grinding that my husband will do. <laughs> pretty though. Real pretty. This is nothing. We won't look at that. Okay. This is, again, the black clay. I made a chip and dip bowl. Um, it's okay. I did um, Amico two times Obsidian and then two times Lustrous Jade all over. And then on the rim, I did Blue Rutile, Seaweed, and Oatmeal to get that drippiness. I'll probably refire this because I like the piece, but it's it's. Okay, so, mmm, cool. Check it out. This is literally just snow. Um, I did a, I drew on this with a pencil and then I did a wax resist. So I just added wax on my pencil design and then three coats of Amico Snow on that brown speckled number 60 Laguna. It's cute. This is also just snow. It's simple, classic on that. You get the speckles with that clay body. I really like it. Easy to glaze. Okay. Anything I can't remember, I will put in the comments. Shit. This is when you have to grind things off. So this is the Laguna Speckled on a cookie. And I did a lace transfer from Elon Transfers. It didn't like come out crystal clear anyway because I did it on a bisque piece not on like raw clay anyway and that's with three times pearl white spectrum I think I can get this off or my husband can and then just sand the bottom down with the diamond sander I made two of those. Oh, this one didn't stick. And I just left this raw, which kind of feels rough, so I'll sand that. That pearl white, like, runs. And I didn't even bring it down. I just did it, like, to here. Really pretty, though. Oh, shit. We got another casualty, another pot that's literally stuck to the shelf. Um, it's just part of doing business here. Um, ooh. This was definitely a pearl white base on the brown speckled three times. And then I did textured turquoise from Amico. And then just the rim, Emerald Falls, Amico. Pretty 
pretty cool. Love that. I don't know if you can see in there. Oh, cute. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, look at that. It's a, it's, I can sand that down. Interesting. That stinking glare. So this is uh, BMX. I have a Laguna Peacock uh, dipping glaze. So I poured it on the inside and poured it out and left some of the drips when I poured it out on the piece. And then I kind of glazed around those drips with Merlot, Smoky Merlot, Amico. And then I did Lustrous Jade over that, Amico. And then I did a globby top rim of oatmeal, like really thick globs. And then underneath that, I did a globby rim of um, Aventuring by Amico. Pretty cool. This is, ooh, I love this combo. This is um, Spectrum. I did kimchi on the top, overlapping sangria, overlapping autumn purple, all Spectrum. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, this was a refire because I didn't put enough on, so I added more. When you don't add enough, it turns like an orangey color and I wanted more pink. So, I'm try turning this light off. See if that makes a difference. But then you can't really, oh, whatever. You get the, the point. Okay, let's get rid of the shelf. Uh oh, uh oh. <sighs> this is just the brown stoneware with three coats of pearl white. I love it. Pearl white's just so pretty on its own. On the brown speckled. On the outside, it was a transfer from Elon Transfers, and then I did like a matte clear. I gotta get better at like applying these transfers. But pretty nonetheless. <clears throat> okay. Whoa. This has a crack in it. That's okay. I wasn't crazy about this. This, I was just um, practicing with like hand building and taking a hand built piece and then throwing it on the wheel or throwing the bottom on the wheel. I don't know. So anyway, this is Amico Celadon charcoal with pear on the inside. That's like two coats of the charcoal. Might like that. I don't know, make it a planter or something. Wow, this is interesting. Not really sure what to make of it. So I just did black velvet underglaze on B mix. And then I did three coats of Archie's base. And then what did I do on top? I think I did 
lavender mist on top of that. I don't know. It's got like interesting effects. I'm not sure. Ah, play with it for a little while. Oh, the inside of this is Archie's base. If you can see that straight up, it's like a salmony color. I don't know if you can see it. Oh. Moving on. Oh, same thing I did the, uh, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do this underglaze thing. I have a satin mat that would have looked way better, a black satin mat, but that's okay. You got to try new things. So I did two coats of, um, Spectrum Sangria and then two coats of kimchi on top of that. I like that. Minus the, it's really just the texture that I don't like of the, the satin, I mean, the underglaze. It's okay, it's, it's pretty though. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, this is a hand-built mug. I think my husband will love it because he loves sunflowers and he's a gardener and he loves this um, color. This is smoke, Amico smoke. And I did a black underglaze and wiped it back to get that print. I know there's a glare, I'm sorry. Um, and I watered down the underglaze, so yeah. So smoke and then I like this combo together, the marigold and the smoke. It's kind of got like a warm fall vibe to me, but it's pretty. All right, let me just get rid of these. at this is the shelf that I did that same combo on the Sayo on the Sayo too. Look at that. Maybe it will come off. Let's see. It always hurts my soul when I hear that noise. That sucks, but it's not terrible. We'll grind that right off. That's that winter wood north blue uh, lavender mist combo on the Sayo 2 black clay. I love this freaking clay. Oh, it's so pretty and smooth. Should burnish it though. We can talk about that later. Put this aside. Hurry up this video so you're not bored. Okay. All right. These are for my sister-in-law. Interesting. These little tumblers. I have six of them. Check. One stuck. That's okay. We can grind it. This is um three times three times chun plum from Amico. Then spectrum bright purple, two coats, and then two coats of Mako Pink Opal. They're really like 
they have a good hand fail. Hopefully they came out okay. Look at that. Hopefully she likes them. Ooh, look at that pretty drip. It's like so pretty. Gorge. Okay. Let's get rid of these so you've already seen them. All right, so now I did a test. So same CyO2 clay, but this time I did two times Norse blue under the two times winter wood, and then just a little rim of the lavender mist, where the other black bowls had the base of winter wood than the Norse blue, but let's see the difference. This one has winter wood as a base. This one has the Norse, bl Norse blue as a base. Not much, I mean, pretty much the same, kind of, slight variation. I might, I might, I don't know. I like them both. Okay, so I got more Elon transfers. I love that. Ohm, symbol of Ohm. Oh, doesn't fit, cool. That sucks. I should have fired them together but I did not. That's okay. Whatever. This is fog on top of B-Mix, just so you can see. I like the fog. And then it's just snow on the inside. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. It's okay. Just gonna wrestle with this pot. Another drip. Another one of those. I think I'm gonna be able to work with this combo though. I'm kinda psyched because it's been stressing me out to find combos for this black clay, you know? And I'm finding way better results with Mako. I don't know why, but. Um. Oh, a little drip there. Again, that's that same kimchi sangria autumn purple on B mix. Same. Oh, so interesting. Huh. Stinking ring. Anyway, this is um, the speckled. And I did three times mulberry to about here. Celadon mulberry from Amico. Then I did like five times of old copper. Or is it ancient copper, old copper, amico on this to about here. And then I overlapped like three times of seaweed around. It's pretty cool how the seaweed and the copper did that. I like you.
cool. This didn't drip. That's a, the other mug. Oh, that sucks. A little crawling. That's okay. I'm fine with it. This is just an interesting combo. It just has a lot of striations. Like, I don't know. I like it. It's that peacock. Yeah, I got a little bald spot there. But it's handmade, so deal with it. Another one of these. It's so pretty, right? Simple. Okay. It's a big load. All right. This is gorgeous. Just saying. Um, so this is B-Mix. The inside I did three times soft white by Spectrum. And um, I did not do it on the outside because every time I do, it runs and I lose stuff. So this is just snow on the outside from Amico. Then I did two times around the rim, in and out of um, Laguna Power Turquoise. And then I did those random seaweed and blue rutile, like squiggly lines. Um, yeah, and then that's it. Pretty, huh? Not sure what that's about, that's okay. Love that. Okay. We're getting there. I know. Just get rid of these. No oh, hurry. I'm hurrying. grinding. I've got to get those new count shelves that everybody's raving about that, that like you don't need to grind I guess. Um, Alright, this is the last layer. Ooh. This is gorgeous. And so simple. Like, why do we complicate things, right? With all these layers. This is um, three times soft white on B-Mix. And all I did was a thick three coats around the rim of Amico's Rainforest, Celadon Rainforest. Gorgeous, right? I think so. Stunning. In the back, I just did snow, because I know it's stable and it won't run. I mean, come on, look it. That's a winner. Okay. Should have just done that. Interesting. This was a hand-built mug, and then I hand-built it with texture, and then I threw it on the wheel, which is a pain but it was fun. This is um, black underglaze white back, pear celadon, and then seaweed and oatmeal. Hmm, not bad, I guess. Decent, fun for spring. Um, I don't know what I was doing here, but I tried something new. This is another slab built mug with a wheel thrown bottom. The bottom I did mulberry celadon on B-Mix, then lavender celadon. These are both Amico. And then I did 
bright purple by Spectrum on the inside with Archie's base on top. I don't know about the Archie's base, but I like the design. That's from a rolling pen. Huh, you like purple. Um, so this is a sweater mug. Cute. I think this is Aqua Celadon by Emico. Then I did the buttons in a Chino Cream by Duncan that I just had hanging around. And then I did this rim in the Duncan Chino Cream and the inside. I did that. It's kind of like a matte finish. Save that for next winter. It's like snow and ice or something. Um, we're getting there. Another one of these. Um, big load. Big kiln today. Okay, so I just wanted to test this out. Shit. Like none of these lids are fitting. Oh, well, no, it fits kind of. How pretty is that though? That's just B-Mix with opulent sea spray. I mean, that's just pretty on its own. I really like that glaze. Opulent sea spray. Mm -hmm. And then I did it on the inside as well. Nice. <coughs> Almost done. Eh, it's kind of yuki. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. I was just testing. I did two coats of marigold over that like pattern that I did under glaze and white back. I just didn't know if the marigold would show the design, so I only did two coats. In the inside is that charcoal, whatever. It's, maybe we'll put this in our outdoor kitchen this summer for utensils or I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, please come off, be nice. Please be nice. Oh, nice. I freaking love this combo. That brown speckled with the pearl white textured turquoise and a little bit of the uh, emerald falls. Oh, I kind of like it. Cool, huh? Two more pots and we're done. <coughs> with this kiln opening. Okay, this was another test piece on the Sio 2 black clay, just that sea spray by Opulence. And honestly, I like, love that. I mean, pretty. Cool. I mean, so far it's been a success. Minus some um, grinding. This is the last piece. Um, I did some scraffito on B-Mix. Um, and then I just did the inside with textured turquoise. Kept it simple. Little planter. Right? Oh, and I went over this with a um, a matte clear and I water down that matte clear every time otherwise it gets foggy anyway that's it for today I hope this helped anybody with glazing um, 
and I hope you have a wonderful day.